I asked you what workout challenge I should try and my favorite answer was grow with Joe. If you know me, I am a huge walker. My go-to is the 12 3 30 and walking is the form of exercise that I did to literally lose over 20 pounds. I just got back from vacation so I'm definitely feeling a little out of shape. Definitely not looking the same as when I left to go there, which is fine. Your body fluctuates and you should enjoy yourself on vacation. It's something that once I get back into routine and everything, I should kind of adjust. So what better time than to start a workout challenge? This is what I currently look like. I was in Europe for about 10 days. It was so much fun. I'm just feeling a little puffy, a little bloated, a couple pounds heavier again, which is okay. Grow with Joe is a workout channel and she has a couple different videos that are walking workouts. So I am just going to do a different one every day and show you my results. Today is day one. Let's get started with the first one. The first one I'm going to start off with is the first one she ever did in this like walking series. I just feel like that's the right thing to do. Searching at oldest. This is the thumbnail. It's indoor fat burning walking workout, low impact. It is it's only 20 minutes. Some of them are longer, some are shorter. Just having it right on my iPad. She has such good energy. That is one aspect that I love. My go-to is the 12 to 30 and I always watch something during it because it helps pass the time. So my setup, here's my iPad. I'm just gonna literally be doing this like right in my room. However, I'm gonna put something on the TV to keep me entertained. All right, let's get started. Realizing I should have just sped up these clips instead of recorded them on time-lapse, but essentially she leads you and you rotate between 30 to 40 seconds of walking in place, then doing a move. Walking in place, doing a move. All in 30 to 40 second increments. Woohoo! First one done. So this one said low impact, but I totally underestimated how tired I would be after it. I feel really good. What I tried to focus on most was one, really engaging my core because I feel like you'll get the most benefits from that and it's probably like the best way to do the workout. And then two, there was kind of a walk in place, small break in between each exercise. So I really tried to use that to cool down, refocus so that I could put the most energy into the actual next exercise and like do it with proper technique every single time so it was good definitely doable I think I could do something harder but this one was good like I expected it to be easier and it did me well my heart rates up that was her goal she accomplished her goal with me that's for sure stretch it out very happy with day one and I will see you tomorrow for is day two um not gonna lie I am sore and I did not expect to be my butt and my thighs are actually really sore however you stretch and you move on and you just do what you can I'm just gonna do the very next walking workout that she uploaded from her first one I did this one on day one on day two, I'm doing this one. So it's kind of adding arms in with a lot of like walking motions like her first one was. This one's a half an hour as well. I'm kind of excited to get into the ones that are longer, but we are gonna go ahead and get into this one. Let's do it. Another one down. My arms definitely hurt a lot. I feel like for this one though, because you added arms the whole time, it's really important to make sure that like your bottom half is moving like as well. So I really tried to focus in that, but oh my goodness, my arms hurt. I feel like my bottom half could definitely endure more. I'm gonna stretch it out heavily and I'll see you tomorrow for day three. I don't know what workout's next, but we'll find out when we get there. It's day three and my arms are sore, but honestly, I did expect them to be sorer. The next one we are gonna do today is, remember there's not a specific order to do these or anything. I'm literally just going by the upload date, like just doing, okay, she uploaded this one, then the next one she did was this one. Again, this isn't a formal challenge. I'm just trying out all these workouts. So the next walking workout she has is technically a partner one, but I don't have a partner with me. So I'm gonna do the next one, which is fast walking in 15 minutes, fat burning walk at home. Lose inches, let's do it. If you came here for a sweat, Another one done. I am sweaty, but honestly, I think I could have done more. Like, I don't think that one was a hard enough one for me, just in like where my physical ability is at, but it was just like a 15 minute one. The other ones have been longer, but that's okay. I love that these give a lot of variety. They are really great where you're changing moves really fast so you don't get bored. I do really like them so far, but some of them are a good level for me. Some of them I personally think I could take on more. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna stretch out and I'll see you for day four tomorrow. It's day four. I'm changing workout locations. <laughs> I did this one yesterday. The next walking workout she uploaded was this one. So we're gonna do this one. Fast one mile walk at home. Happy mood boost. Great job. 
Another one down. I was not sore going into today coming from yesterday, but that wasn't really a surprise. Yesterday was like, eh, I need a little more. Today was better. I am sweaty. I was sweaty yesterday too though, but I know my legs are gonna be a little sore tomorrow, especially with those like jump squats at the end. So I'm feeling good about that. And tomorrow I think is a longer workout. We're gonna do maybe like 45. So today was good. I'm getting a hint of which of her walking workouts I like more than others, but there is such a good variety. So you could definitely pick and choose. So far, these are great. Like I said, very engaging. They're good if you get bored easily working out because I know that's easy to do. I'm gonna stretch and I will see you tomorrow for day five. Hello, it is day five. I am actually not sore at all from yesterday. I thought I might be a little bit, but I'm not. So I'm ready for a good long workout today. Today I'm doing my first long walking workout of hers, which is this three mile fat burning indoor walk. Workout, I did three miles. Fifth one done. I'm sweaty. I'm not like dying though. My like outer butt muscles were definitely hurting it during it, but I don't know if it was because I felt a soreness from yesterday when I did that or if it's because that was challenging. I mean, it was good. The moves were fairly easy and whatnot. It was a good workout, but I honestly think I could have done more. But the longer ones were good compared to the shorter ones. Definitely still doable. And I'll see you tomorrow for day six. Time for day six. Okay, not gonna lie. I was most sore after the very first workout day one, but the rest of them, I, I feel like I need more challenge. I've done a variety of these walking workouts she's created, so I found one that I think will be good for today. We have a three mile intense lower belly fat walking workout. I think this should be good for me. I'm not like super muscular, super toned by the looks of it, but I'm like decently in shape. Like I work out every day, you know? So I'm just feeling like the workouts aren't challenging me as much as I would like them to. Yes, I break a sweat. Yes, I get moving, which is so good, but I want a little more. So I'm hoping this one today is gonna give me a little more. That's how I'm feeling. Alright, sixth workout done. I would say that was probably my favorite. If I could combine this one with the very first one I ever did, I think that would be good. More challenging than the past few, which I needed. We'll see how I feel tomorrow on day seven. Hello, day seven. I don't feel too much from yesterday, but during the workout, I thought it was good. So I don't know, I'm just not sore. Today's victim. I'm just choosing one that I haven't done yet that I think I'll like of her walking workout series. So I'm gonna do this one, which is the two mile fast walk at home. I feel like it's a good length and I like that it says fast so it'll be like, you know, a little more intense. You can use weights but I don't have anything less than 10 pounds and 10 pounds is definitely way too heavy for this. She said half and half we're doing upper body and lower body so I like this already so far. Let's do it. Her attitude and energy is seriously the best. And I love the set she's wearing so that's another thing. I wasn't wearing my shoes and I didn't have the one or two pound weights like I mentioned so I realized I could just hold my shoes and at least have something in my hands, a little bit of weight during this workout so. I wanted more challenge and the shoes were better than just holding nothing. Okay, that was definitely my favorite workout I've done out of all of her walking workouts I have done. I've completed seven total and honestly, this was definitely my favorite. I'll clearly link it in the description. I just like honestly liked the moves of this one the best compared to any other one. I'm feeling good. I'm actually sweaty because I have a hair mask in and that always makes me sweatier. <laughs> but I feel good. I wasn't sure how many days I wanted to do these workouts, but I have some pretty good conclusive thoughts, I think. So let's see the results and final thoughts after seven full days of Grow With Joe's walking workouts. Overall, great channel. She has great energy, a great attitude. Her workouts are very engaging and I like her take on like a walking workout. I said I'm a huge walker. It kind of like spices it up a bit and it's nice how you can either have it fully on or just follow it and be like watching something, you know, because I do believe that entertainment kind of makes the workouts go by faster so I'd love to do that as you saw there were definitely some of her like walking workouts that I liked more than others there's a good variety level both in the moves and difficulty but I will say overall they're more beginner friendly so if you're looking for that great I'm not the most physically fit person ever but I do work out every day so I think I want something more challenging that being said I love them but my concluding thoughts is that this wouldn't be my sole workout these videos I would incorporate with another workout 
routine or like another workout each day I would do them this wouldn't be like my only workout or I would do these more on like a low-key day they definitely help me kind of come back from vacation you know like you do see changes and everything but I think if I were to combine it with other things that I know work for me there may have been a little more defining results if that makes sense from here from this current state these current results looks great but I do have more work to do which is fine you can't just like snap back in a week anyway that's not reliable and I'm not trying to like rush things you know you kind of have to like adjust after like being out of routine being out of whack whatever like I said which is all normal you know your body fluctuates like whatever totally fine but I think her workouts are great more beginner friendly and great to combine with other workouts that you like to do is my thoughts and you can see for yourself what you think of my results before and after all of that she's a really great channel and I definitely encourage you to check her out and try these workouts for yourself I will specifically clearly link which was my favorite one and her channel of course everything else thank you for whoever put me on this workout and this channel she has a great story please check her out let me know what you think of all this and let me know if there's any other workout challenges that you want me to try out and show you otherwise from now on I think I'm gonna go back to kind of like the 12 to 30 with additional like weights here and there what I like to do on a daily basis thank you for watching please subscribe if you have not and I'll see you in my next one